I have to say, this is one of my favorite Halloween segments coming up. Whether you need spooky cocktails for two, for one, witch's brew for your crew, these easy recipes we're about to dig into are bound to be a big hit. Especially with us here with some festive and spooky Halloween cocktail recipes. Please welcome Jessica Johnson with Wooster's Garden. Hi, Jessica. Hi. Thanks for coming in. Happy Thanks Halloween. Thanks for having me. Happy Halloween. So Wooster's Garden at Midtown, uh, tell us about that. Um, it's a high-end, high-volume cocktail bar in Midtown. Um, we have 45 house cocktails. We have seven that rotate every season, and we have 49 taps and a very excellent wine list. High volume, meaning like you can't make the drinks fast enough because people are so drunk <laughs> they are downing them. Not quite. High volume, we just, we get really busy. Okay, got it. Cool. So what are we mixing up today? Because so, the weather is cooler outside and I know summer cocktails are a little different than fall, right? Definitely. Um, so today we have four cocktails. Uh, this wow. one here, it's called, I renamed it, it's called the Pennywise. Um, <laughs> it's a spirit forward bourbon cocktail. Ooh, nice. Um, I'm just going to reach in there. With the Ooh. nice one With big ice, ice cube. cube. Oh, I love yes. that. Yeah, and by the way, these I, I have my I got my ice cube trays on Amazon, the King Cube. Yes, I have. Do we put anything else Silicone? in there? Hang on, hold it up, sure. Oh. Pump the brakes. Because it's Halloween. <laughs> and what is this? <laughs> Just a tootsie pop. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Courtney's very serious about her booze. <laughs> oh, so, and do you use this just for garnish or do you actually um, well, mix it up? Usually, I, just for garnish, um, we usually make our own in-house, um, but since it's Halloween, I figured we'd go with one of the classics. This is very nice. This is, um, the, there's your Pennywise um, recipe there, and this is bourbon and sweet vermouth, right? Yes. This is a really nice cocktail. I'm usually not a bourbon person. Yeah. Looks like I'm learning new things. Oh, yeah, that is nice. Right? That's very Back nice. Spirit forward, but still so easy going. Are we gonna put these web the address or the recipes on our website? Okay, great. We will do that. I'm getting a nod from D Brown. Okay, so next we have this one here. What is this? This is called the Identity Crisis. Hmm. It is. Um... I'll have one of those, please. <laughs> I've had two today. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Um, it's got mezcal and a lot of Angostura, lemon, and agave. So it's smoky and definitely very clovey. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay, oh. so this is the... This is just cinnamon, which I'm just going to smoke up a little bit. So there's the, uh, the recipe right there on your screen, the mezcal, which does have that smokier flavor, right? The lemon juice, the agave syrup. And then the bitters, um, where can people buy bitters? Do they have to go to like a specialty liquor store? Bitters are actually sold in um, specs. Uh, some grocery stores carry them. Um, this one that we're using is Angostura. It's kind of a traditional um, Trinidad bitters. That oh, wow. is so good. It's like a barbecue sort of it's in a glass. Definitely. Yeah. It's yeah. It's really, really interesting. I love that. Mm. Okay, let's get to the next one. This is um, Mary Shelley. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Courtney and I are going to love this because it has bubbles in a champagne flute. <laughs> I love it. So this one, uh, the garnish was actually in the glass already. It's a smoked tea, um, which you kind of just... Wait, so what do you have the there? glass with. You have... Oh, you're coating the glass. Yes, so that the glass kind of smells like the smoky tea. Oh, really? Now you come back from out the curtain. We have a surprise guest Behind here. the curtain for it. One? Wait, this one's pretty good. You'll like that, Don. the bourbon. <laughs> that yeah, one's go good. go back behind the curtain. Cheers. The man behind the curtain. The man behind the curtain. Yes. He's always there. So that's interesting the way you smoke that. So yes. you had loose tea yes. that you used. You took a light or two? Yeah. So. And that caps, you see the smoke in here. And now you can smell it in the glass. It oh, absolutely. Like yeah. And, oh. <laughs> Too much. Sorry, no, I'm going to be Too okay. Much. I'm going to be okay. So the drink is, um, it's got like Grand Poppy high. liqueur and Tanqueray 10 gin and um, Pedro Zimena sherry or okay. Pina sherry. And you know what? I also love the presentation because if you had a party over and you started like smoking Listy, Definitely. your friends would be tray impressed. What do you oh, think? That's very nice. This is probably one of my favorite cocktails on our menu. Really nice. Now, would you, oh. this would be something that you would start with, right? Little. Definitely. This is great. I love the flavor. It's super interesting. Oh, the yeah. tea really comes through. Yeah. It almost tastes like an iced tea, but it better. It does. <laughs> Way better. Way better. Wait, who better? You don't need iced tea. Iced what? Uh-uh. <laughs> okay, so now you're actually going to make yes. a drink for us. Okay, let's talk about this one. Okay. Uh, so this one's called the Chupacabra. It's a spicy tequila drink. We use a house-made jalapeno tincture. Um, you get agave nectar, which you can buy anywhere. 
Pretty much all of these ingredients you can just buy at the store. And everything now on your screen is what you need for one of these drinks. So go ahead and take a screenshot of it right now um, while Jessica's mixing it up. And the ag agave is going in now. Agave. Oh my gosh. Uh, the only thing we make in house at Worcester's is the jalapeno tincture, but um, you could just replace that with a. Could yeah. you put a jal slice jalapeno? Yeah, exactly. in it, right? In your shaker? Uh, this is bitters. This one's a little oops, harder to find than the Angostura one, but you can get it at a, a liquor store. I need to get some accoutrements. That's what I need. Yeah, you and your barware. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, need... I know you like to throw parties. I like and, to and need mix to up, up. up my game. I love that. By the way, do we have a stray good witch or a, a lion who would like one of these cocktails? Because we have a stray good 